Welcome back to another video. Thanks for being here. As always, remember if you like the content, please give the video a like and share uh, if anybody you know who might like similar content and comment below. In this video, we're going to take a look at a very short look at three mukbangs that she's uploaded. Don't worry, I'm not going to play them. You won't hear the horrible eating noises or anything. I'm just going to take a very brief look at the food. And then we're going to look at the live that she did called Alive and Live that has some very interesting points to it. So in the live, she gets asked about her exercise and she tells us whether or not she's still swimming or exercising. And Bella's not there. Hmm. Where oh where is Sala? Let's get into it, shall we? First one she did was Chinese Filipino food mukbang. And she did very kindly give us this warning at the beginning. Trigger warning for eating noises, carbs, fat girl eating. And you can see here the amount of food. She has not only the main course i'm not even going to bother really to go through what it is and she has a soup to the side and she has at least three either spring rolls or vegetable rolls and the eating noises are horrific and if i go right to the end here you can see she's cleared it she's eaten it all right no surprise there the next one she called Wendy's Dave Single Spicy Nuggets and Chili Cheese Fries Mukbang. And you can see there she's got a big burger. She's got a load of what looked like chicken nuggets and a tub full of fries. As well as a glass of what she calls cola. Is it Coca-Cola? Is it Pepsi? Remember she was boycotting one of those? Hmm. And yep, yeah, we get to the end and it's all gone. And the third one's called Kebab Kubide Persian Food Mukbang. Now, I don't know about you, but um, whatever that is sitting in the middle there looks... I'm sorry, it looks like a giant turd. It's, it's not appetizing at all. Huge carton full of rice. Uh some sort of super sauce to the side and a load of greens now on this one we see that she didn't quite finish it she has some rice left and uh, she does show us on uh, a subsequent video or live can't remember which that she had kept it for eating another time geez uh, i mean there's portions there to feed uh, a whole family just looking at the size of those meals just makes me feel ill how about you also interesting to note is that she changed her banner again where it says mukbangs food blogs food is life and she's also changed her about section of her channel where it no longer says you know she's a married canadian revert etc she now says, I'm a huge foodie and believe good food is one of the biggest pleasures in life. I love experiencing all kinds of foods from all different cultures. So let's eat. I hope I make you hungry. Huh? Mukbangs, eating, ASMR. How in the hell can this be ASMR? It's disgusting. Uh, cooking, food, travel, vlogs. Really? Vlogs when you've already said... Uh, anyway. Interestingly, she does still have links on here to a couple's channel and my husband's channel. Even more intriguing when we now go on to look at the live where Salah is nowhere to be found. Now we're going to look at her live from yesterday that she titled Alive and Live. And she's got the red lipstick on, which normally means there's a rage in coming. But I haven't heard that she's done a rage in this one through Twitter, etc. But look at that, look, 25 seconds in. She started singing a bit while waiting for people to join. You can just tell she's angry, can't you? Dance. 
Okay, where are you people? Hurry up, Oof. yellow. Oof. Oof. That's because still nobody had joined. Oh dear. What do you expect, Chantal, when the way you've been treating your subs and members lately, huh? And she's back just smoking shisha on camera again. Yeah, sorry, I haven't had shisha in a while. Hey, duck puppet! I'm blowing smoke everywhere. She said she hasn't had it in a while. Don't you think if she hadn't had it in a while that uh, she might be coughing a bit? You know? I mean, we never believed her anyway, did we? That she hadn't been doing shisha the whole time. And I wasn't going to go live. I was just going to like watch movies, but anyway. So why did you go live? Have you got anything interesting to tell us in this live? I very much doubt it. We'll see. I still have groceries. Well, it's a wonder how whenever all we've seen you doing is mukbangs full of takeout food. All those groceries that other people could have had, whether they're from a regular shop or whatever, they're just rotting away. It's such a waste. One thing I can't stand is food waste. Disgusting. With so many people starving in the world. I didn't have breakfast, Element OP. My first meal was the Wendy's. Isn't that breakfast? And oh my god, who has that pile of Wendy's food first meal of the day? Oh. And then, so like I woke up, took my medication, had that drink, and then I had Wendy's. And then I had uh, the beef curry. Jeez. Ugh. Disgusting. Also, she's trying to make out again that that drink, that, you know, that magical fibre drink makes everything okay. No, it doesn't. And she has a go at FFG for smoking around her pets. But here she is doing that shisha in that tiny little apartment with her cat there and she's got a hamster supposedly still alive somewhere and while we're on the subject of Julia still not spayed, not vaccinated, nothing also look how narrow her room's looking again she's playing those filters hard can I ask if she's still checking her sugars? Are you still checking your sugar? Yes, I am 30 months. Well, I know that her excuse for not putting up readings is that she's keeping everything private for now on blah, 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 per the community post I showed in my last video, but she's not telling us what the readings are or anything. Christ knows what they are. Forgive me for blaspheming, but I mean, my God. You know what? She's got to do a visa run soon, right? And how is she going to do that if she ends up in another medical emergency, for example, like she did, you know, a week, 10 days ago now, something like that? She's going to be screwed, isn't she? She, If she ends up being ill, overstaying her visa, then when she does leave, she could, or try to leave, she could be in big trouble, couldn't she? I, I don't like talking about how it's so annoying. It's just annoying to me. It's just something that... I don't enjoy doing as content. Like, yes, I enjoy eating, okay? I enjoy doing more things. We know. But I don't find that I have, like, as much negative feelings because I've just been, like, I do my mukbang and then I'm happy, like, I get, like, you know, to eat, like, what I want. Yeah, you get to eat what you want, but at the expense of what? Your health? Your diabetes status? And you're probably not getting the views that you, you know? Well, we know she's not getting the views she once was, but if she keeps on just doing the mukbangs then her channel's gone isn't it really but we all know this won't last this is chantal 101 she does this and goes back on everything you know it's not that long ago she was praying to god you remember when she was ill that she was never going to mistreat her body again blah 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 and here we are and then i feel like okay you know if i if i can do that i'll just be responsible in some way you know like responsible in some way you're not responsible in any aspect of your life girl i'll just eat something homemade and healthy after for supper or you know oh and that makes all the difference does it 
And who are you kidding? If you were making something healthy and homemade, you know, you'd show it. You'd make a video of you cooking, well, you know, preparing the food, cooking and eating it. Why show us mukbangs of takeout food, but not of you eating food that you've made yourself? It can't look any worse. We've seen the slop of the takeout food that you've been doing in your mukbangs. You know, who are you trying to kid? It depends what I have for lunch, but... But I find like, what I notice between junk food and real food, and Tatum Lee, hi Fernanda, is that like after you eat the junk food, you're like still kind of, like not hungry, like as in like you want, it's like your, your body's missing like nutrients, you know what I mean? So that's why like I crave to like... Well then why the hell eat the junk food? You, you know, you're answering your own, well, you didn't ask the question, but you know, you're stating the bloody obvious here. Cook with the food I have here after like, you know, what I made tonight was really good. Um, yeah um, i have a lot of fruits and right. i have a lot of vegetables i have to use you guys saw that yeah you do and like i said if you were using them you would make a video out of it look at all the videos that you've been pumping out lately because you need a big paycheck this month you're trying to tell us that you wouldn't video with that uh, crazy no i don't feel bad after doing mukbangs anymore because I don't know, like I said, it's a different vibe, Zoe, you know, like it depends if I, if like after my mukbang, I had a whole day of like binging and eating bad, then I'd probably feel bad, yeah. But we know that you are, I mean, what you're eating on the mukbangs is bad enough. You're diabetic. You shouldn't be eating that at all until you get your diabetes under control and, you know, get healthier. She's going to end up on, uh, well, I mean, I, I don't know, I'm not a diabetic expert, but. Couldn't she end up having to be on insulin, maybe? I'm sure some of you... I know I have viewers that are diabetic that have commented before. You let me know how this could go if she carries on this way, hey? The Jane Fonda workouts? I actually stopped doing them. Hell surprise, huh? Go on. Are you going to tell us why? I don't know. I got really sore and I was like... My muscles were really sore and I just took a break and just never went back. <laughs> But I can anytime, I guess. Your muscles got sore. Well, what the hell did you expect when you'd not been doing any exercising for so long and you start doing it? And I mean, and they were very basic, weren't they? It wasn't like a full on intensive workout. Of course, your muscles are going to hurt, but that's where you have to have that motivation and keep on. My God, this is this is just going downhill at a rate even I couldn't imagine. Um, hey Andre Marie! The swimming. Yeah. I oh yes, what about the swimming? I hate like getting dressed, like, it's the preparation that I don't like doing. And then like, after like, you know, I don't know, your clothes are all wet. That annoys me. Well, duh! Of course you go swimming in your clothes, they're gonna be wet. Just swimming. Oh my god. Is she deliberately trying to rile people up here? Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Zoe, Canada's not in the plans for a while. Well, you said that there was no trouble in the plans until November time, the autumn, in your community post recently, didn't you? But we all know you've got to travel soon for that visa run. Because we have other plans to go travel that's why the suitcase is still there my spare room is i have about five no oh yeah you can see the suitcase behind her i didn't even notice that before why the hell she's still got that sitting in the living room four suitcases in there already but two are like broken they're so i don't know the hard plastic ones they break easy then why have you still got them why haven't you taken them to your equivalent of a tip they're broken why are you keeping them Makes no sense. Now it's worth pointing out, letting you know at this stage, Salah wasn't in her chat. Now we all know that's unusual when she's doing a live for him not to be in her chat. Not only moderating, blocking people, but goading her on. Where is Salah? Mm -hmm. Is it that she's keeping him out of chat because she doesn't want to have any back and forth with him that might expose her privacy? that she keeps going on about or is it that he's not around at the minute hmm 
Do you remember after they went to the tower the other day and he had this meeting, which we're uh, not sure even happened really because he was there back to join her for uh, her cappuccino toot sweet. Is it that because of the upcoming uh, deadline of June 17th, where you've got to get your status sorted? Because we know he's not a Kuwaiti citizen. He was born there, yes, but that doesn't give you Kuwaiti citizenship automatically. His parents were Syrian, so he is Syrian. He's got a Syrian passport. Is he away trying to sort something out to do with his status so that he can stay there? Because we know that he worked some sort of loophole with his friend Murad, being, you know, part owner of a business, etc., or being sponsored to be able to stay there. And if that's the case, where does that leave Chantal? I mean, it really shouldn't make any difference. She's still got to renew her three-month tourist visitor every three months. Very odd. Chat asked her, can't she go in a bathing suit to go swim in? No, I can't go in a bathing suit, Kina, because there's people, there's like buildings around with windows. <laughs> and if somebody happens to like just walk in, you know, because like, the way the pool is, it's not fully enclosed. Like you can get there from the outside of the building. Yeah, pokey pants. It's lemon mint. That's so she shot. Asking, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Are you? Okay, you can't wear what we would consider a regular bathing suit, but you could get a. Is it called a bikini? I might have said that wrong, but you know what I mean. You can get proper swimwear. That protects your modesty but no she's just not interested she's already said you know she's just given up on everything isn't she for now she says that wendy's was her lunch and that she had it and i quote pretty early in the day like maybe one she said that was the first thing she had so you're sleep well we know she's sleeping most of the day away anyway and it wasn't your lunch it was the first thing you ate so Really? It was breakfast, huh? I don't know what the future will hold. Like, we want to travel. You want to travel. And yet, are you eating the way you are? You're heading for another diabetic crisis, if not worse. How the hell are you going to be fit for travelling anywhere? Hmm? And what happens if your diabetes takes another turn? Affects your vision, affects your legs, feet. Do you know what I mean? You know, you won't be traveling anywhere then except maybe back home to Canada on an air ambulance. Hmm. Someone in chat mentions about her smoking online. Remember? Losers are smoking for offline. I cannot. I cannot do that, Dixie. Sorry. Why not? Hmm? No self control, no willpower. Yeah, we gotcha. Those are bulldog noodles. <laughs> I, because I'm afraid. I like. I'm afraid of them hurting my stomach because like with the medication I'm on some things like like just I don't even know why I bought them I find like the medication I'm on like my stomach is sometimes like finicky about stuff and those are Well, it sure ain't finicky about all the shit fast food you're eating is it? They're so spicy to the point where it's not even enjoyable. It's not enjoyable spicy. It's just an intense burn You put a hell of a lot of spices and you know spicy sauce and everything on top of your food i've commented before that you clearly have a hardly working taste buds the amount of spicy stuff you put on it so uh, that's a load of crap what she's saying here what would i never eat <laughs> it's very little on that list i don't know that's a good question Probably bugs. Although I think I did eat bugs already once before. <laughs> yeah, you did. Ugh. Chat asks her if she worries about the war. And she says, uh, well, yeah, but not like for my safety, but I worry about the war in general. Well, maybe you should be worrying about your safety being a Westerner over there if it all kicks off. Hmm? And I mean, I, I mean, if it kicks off involving Q8. We know it's already kicked off in other places. So she continues lots of chat uh, between her and her viewers about different types of food and what she would eat, etc. And then there's this. 
Oh no, Elemental B. No, I won't, wouldn't be eating any testicles either. No. Certainly not while you're over there with Salah, eh? Ba boom <laughs> No, I'm good with the muscle part of animals. No. Yeah. I won't comment further on that, eh? No, Salah's not at deal one yet. Well, where is he then? Hmm. Have you ever thought about doing something extra? I work on mine as a mother's second. Mm, no, Good I don't question. Really do anything extra. <laughs> I just feel like just chilling for now, you know? What do you mean for now? It's all you do. <laughs> Does that sound bad? Yeah. It's just, you know. I know what you mean. It's do like you? Enriching. But I think. I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I think I have to admit that I, you know. In between doing things I have to do, I enjoy doing absolutely nothing. For you, the only things you have to do is shove endless amounts of food down your gullet. Let's be honest. You're making it clear that's all you want to do. That and sleep. I don't know. Like, does nobody else like doing nothing? Like, I mean, like, if I'm in the mood to do no. something, I can just do it, you know? But I like my seal time. I love my seal time. I like laying in my comfy bed and, you know... Turning on the TV and watching movies. My husband and my cat. Sometimes if the cat is sleeping up here, I'll go get Harry and shut the door and we'll chill with Harry. <laughs> what a great life, huh? What a rich, fulfilling life. Not. This is so sad. Seal time. That's called privilege. Well. I mean. It's not like I do nothing. Like. No, you eat a lot, mm -hmm. and you sleep. You know, I have a home to maintain. <laughs> That's one of the funniest things she's ever said. Maintaining a home, yeah, right. Um, I have myself to be constantly trying to work on. Yourself to be working on? You're not working on anything on yourself right now. You're doing nothing to benefit your health. You're eating all the wrong things. You're not exercising you've just said you've given up on that and the swimming and that you just want to lie around doing nothing how the hell is that working on yourself you know and uh yeah i don't know <laughs> life stuff you know but life stuff i do also really love just my seal time i think everybody looks doesn't everybody look forward to where they can just like you know get cozy in bed and just like surf on their phone or do whatever yeah, but that's usually after a busy day of working, you know, or doing something fulfilling, uh, something useful. Not what you do. Yeah, element OP, exactly. Just like life stuff that everyone has to do, I guess. But I don't really like have hobbies to where like, I don't know, like working on my channel, I guess is my hobby or. It's not a hobby. It's your living. It's how you earn money. If you're treating it like a hobby, that's one of your big problems. Um, planning on like writing, I am planning on like writing certain things about like my life and stuff like that. Really? Um, true crime, horror movies, just stuff like that. You know, I don't like, I don't know. I don't like, I don't have a hobby where like I color, knit, do stuff like that. No, you don't. I don't know. Nothing feels great. Wow. The delusion is so real. And chat comments about females getting together as well. There are females do one yet. Arab women socialize too. You would just need friends to see what's up. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And that's it. She just glosses right over that. Because that might require a little bit of effort, eh? Going out, meeting people. How did Salah propose? <laughs> Oh, well, that's an interesting question. It's not like a proposal, it's like a... No? After we were talking for a little while, he was like, come here. A little while? You are on video telling us it was a couple of days. Two days, if I'm not mistaken. And we'll get married, kind of thing. Like, just kept saying, like, he wants to marry me and stuff. <laughs> oh, nice. How romantic, huh? Desperation much? Chat asked her if she misses smoking, but 
Yeah, yeah, I'm being honest, yeah. I do, of course, sometimes. Most of the time I don't think about it when I'm here, because there's no point. You know? <laughs> there's no point. You have talked about it while you've been in Kuwait. You have thought about it. Who are you, China kid? Does she think that people have really short memories, huh? Clearly she does. And in between blowing smoke at the camera again, as you can see here. So I was just letting me do my live stream, I guess. I don't know. You guess? You don't know? Tell us Salah's not there without telling us Salah's not there. He's not around. Not even in your live chat. She's not even using the excuse of keeping her private life private. You know, by not having him there to talk back and forth with. You know what I mean. Salah's not there. Mm. Do -do -dum. <laughs> Built for the Arctic. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't wear a hijab. Like, as soon as I turn the camera off, I'm, like, taking every, like, the hijab right off. Yeah, I bet you are. But that's okay, right? In her own home. But I wonder if when she is back in Canada, when she has been, does she wear it the whole time? Outside, I mean? Then this has to be a troll in her chat. She says, does she think she could start a humane society in Kuwait? I mean, What? Given her history with her pets? No, I can't start a humane society. I have no ambition right now for stuff like this. You never had any ambition for being humane to pets, let's be honest. This is nuts. Then Brenda in her chat refers to speculation that was going around in Twitter that there was potentially a visa office in the tower building that they visited the other day and filmed and the speculation is that Salah applied for a visa while he was there and then got denied and that was the bad news. Um, I, he wasn't there long enough for any visit in my opinion. Um, I've also seen on Twitter that apparently the visa office isn't even there in that tower anymore. So it, could they have gone there thinking that that's where it was? And that's how he got back to her and her coffee so quickly because he realised it wasn't there. Because uh, apparently it still shows on Google that that visa office is there. Did they subsequently then go to the right visa office? They found out where it was and he got denied. And is that the bad news? But listen to what she says anyway. No, Brenda, I don't think there's a visa office in those towers. It's a commercial building. I don't think there's one. She was too ready with that answer for my liking. Uh, that makes me think there was some sort of truth to this. Some sort of truth to it anyway. Someone asked about a lipstick and she says it's from Canada, that she's had it for many years. Once again, she's using really old makeup. Can you imagine the bacteria that could be there? Ugh. The last thing she needs is another infection. Someone in chat mentioned similar. I know it expires. <laughs> I never. I don't. Just don't care. I guess. I change like mascara and stuff. Oh well, that's Let's all right. I know, Melanie. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like them. I find. You change as mascara, but anything else is fine. What about your eyeliner, your foundation, your face powder, your lipsticks? I would say lip liner, but we've seen lately she clearly doesn't use one. Hmm. Cracky. Lots of more chat back and forth about food and then chat mentions studying. Why not study something while being a seal? I don't know, like what could I study that I give a crap about? Good grief. Food? That's the only thing you seem to give a crap about. Someone must have mentioned about studying Arabic, perhaps. Here's her response. Seals not study Arabic. Oh, I guess. Hey, Natalie. See how interested she is in, you know, the Middle Eastern culture that she keeps going on about. She can't even be asked to learn the language. Possibly because she knows she has no intentions of staying there long term if this really is a marriage of convenience, eh? No, you can't see my blood sugar. <laughs> and why not? Because we know it ain't going to be good. Give over with this privacy stuff you're not about. You don't want to show it because you know it could be crap. <laughs> the 
FBs or Twitter. No, there's not. I don't have a Twitter. Yeah, right. So, like, pretty much everybody on Twitter just talks to themselves. I, I haven't I never had one for more than like two minutes. She absolutely looks at Twitter. There's no doubt about it because some of the things discussed on Twitter, only on Twitter, I might add. You know, things that aren't discussed on YouTube reactions about her. She mentions and brings up, so that's a load of bull as well. Chat asks about the suitcase again. No, I just have to put the suitcase away. It's for when we travel. So you've had that suitcase for days now, and you said in a community post you're not travelling until autumn, possibly November. Well, we know that's a lie because you've got to do a visa run soon. But regardless, it's still sitting there. How lazy can you be? Huh? That rubbish about the room. There's got to be room in your spare room for another suitcase. Pile them on top of each other. So, yeah, more lies. Someone says in chat, will you cook for us since Sal is not there? <laughs> he is here. He's going to eat this after. Okay, bye. Is he really? <laughs> it's very unusual for him not to be in chat when you're alive. And she signs out like this bye guys thanks for being in um maybe i'll be less tired next time i don't know the shisha relax i haven't had shisha in a while so it's like relaxes me i'm not used to it but yeah right okay well thanks for watching uh let's see what happens next in chantal's world eh as always until next time take care Money off the spend can't ignore Greet a joker till she can't adore Ready for the 300